How's it going Forex traders? It's yours truly Dapolis and guys welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video I'm going to be sharing with you guys my exact Forex trading strategy that has made me a millionaire at a very young age. Look at me. I'm just 28 years old, right? And trust me, guys, when I tell you, the moment I discovered this approach to Forex, it actually changed my life. Game changer. I was able to do things for myself, do things for my family. I was able to live. I mean, I live in Dubai. I live in one of the most beautiful cities in the world. So you guys can understand the power of this strategy, you know? And I woke up this morning and I said to myself, what is the best way to impact the Forex world today? Okay. And I'm like, you know what? I'm going to come on here and I'm going to share my forex trading strategy, right? Because I want to see more profitable traders than losing traders. I want to see traders deposit money and actually redraw more than they deposited. I'm tired of seeing blown accounts. And let nobody kid you, the most important and vital part of your trading is your trading strategy. They can tell you psychology, risk management, blah, 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 blah. As long as you have a forex trading strategy that you trust and you believe in and that is proven to extract consistent profits from the market, you will be a successful trader. And that's exactly what I want to happen today. I want it for those of you who are watching this video, I want you to live here more informed and ultimately become profitable traders. So guys, if you're interested in finding out this strategy that this young man has used to make a lot of money, whereby so many investors want to invest with him if you want that strategy that's going to change your life i suggest you do all you need to do is sit right there don't go anywhere and watch this video till the very end all right guys let's jump into the video let's go Bye. all right guys welcome back to obviously this amazing video where we're going to be discussing forex trading strategies before i jump into the video i need you guys to do one thing before i get into the meat of the video smash the subscribe button right there why because it's for your own benefit so that you get to watch amazing videos like this from real forex traders that are actually trading real and live stuff i come on here every other week to publish the best analysis whereby i use this strategy that i'm going to show you guys in this video to actually predict this market week in week out and guess what i'm right nine out of ten times so it's within your own best interest to smash the subscribe button right oh but you have five seconds smash it smash it right there one two three four five all right guys that's enough I mean, hopefully you smashed it anyway so now before i jump in to start talking about strategies and all that i need to give you guys some background you know when it comes to forex trading strategies now you have to understand that i've been doing this for 11 years yes i started trading forex at the age of 17 once i left high school you know and as you all know the young kids were trying to make money online you know you know you're trying and then you had stumbled on forex and then once you stumbled on forex you open a forex brokerage account and once the broker see your contact information they are calling you like hi um are you tampa willis so oh, how would you like to deposit one thousand would you like to deposit five thousand and you know, as a little kid you don't really know what's going on and I mean, i'm not just saying this for little kids i'm talking about even grown ass people it happens to everybody right these brokers they're out for your bread right period <laughs> anyway so you know i started the game deposited my first two thousand dollars bam 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 and then what happens is what happens to every other trader if you're watching this i know you must have lost your first trading account and it is at that point you now start looking for what they call a forex trading strategy now on the hunt for forex trading strategy you will come across all sorts of things all sorts of people all sorts of seminars all sorts of gurus guys best believe i was in that position as well i was 17 at the time you know 17 18 19 and oh my god who did not they sold me everything they told me this they told me that and i realized one of the most common strategies that people always come across or people always try to adopt is indicator based strategies so i'm going to talk about let me just talk a bit about indicator based strategies and hopefully you guys might relate to this as well because i might talk about the strategy that you're currently using at the moment so that you guys can understand why i'm not here to bash anybody else's strategy but i just want to open it to show you guys why it might not exactly be working for you let's take indicator based strategies as well now um i'm not gonna kid you not 
I have a computer when I first started trading Forex that had well over 760 indicators. I had all the indicators you can think about. I had a folder with 150 strategies. I tried everything. 11 years in the game is not a joke, right? And you tried this strategy, most of them are all indicator based. You go for seminars and they tell you, oh, when you wake up in the morning, you have to trade between 9 and 11 a.m rubbish <laughs> and they tell you oh you have to wait for i used to have this indicator based strategy whereby it was on a 30 minute time frame i used to use the 100 um, exponential moving average and the 10 and then once you crossed over if you, if the smaller one crossed over to the downside i would sell if the smaller one crossed over to the upside i would buy simply meaning that there was the change in trend and blah 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 and guess what guys at the end of the day the strategy will work for only a period of time but then it will stop working frustration sets in and you jump from this strategy and before you know what's happening you're jumping from a to b to c and for every time every time you jump from strategy to strategy it always as it is, it is, it is always as a result of a blown account. People stop using a strategy once they blow a particular account. So imagine you jump from three, four, five. I mean, at the time I was jumping from, guys, I'm telling you, I had 760 indicators and a folder of, of almost 200 different strategies. And guys, I can tell you that none of them worked. Now, guys, let's unpack the real reason why this strategies or so-called indicators struggle to give us consistent profits over the time i mean because you say to yourself i've seen people using it and they seem to be making money guys after 11 years trust me i have the indicator i've never seen an indicator based trader that is profitable you can bash me in the comments it's entirely up to you but that's that's just the truth about it right i've been doing it 11 years i have nothing to i'm not here to sugarcoat anything about forex if you want to keep on trading forex it's up to you if you want to quit it's entirely up to you but my duty as a as, a, as an educator as a consistently profitable forex trader and as somebody who wants to give back it's to give back to the community is to tell you guys the absolute truth i have never Ever seen you know a, a trader who uses an indicator based strategy and has been profitable overall so what is the reason behind this the simple reason behind this is indicators lag indicators are behind price price needs to occur before the indicators print that's pretty much it so tell me how can I really project into the future when the market is rather when my strategy is based up of indicators that tell me what has happened before in the past this is why this is why you need to move towards price action based strategies this is where exactly why where my forex trading strategy comes in now i'll tell you the difference between both once again one is delayed one is telling you what's going to happen to the future and come on guys we're playing a game whereby our duty here is to project into the future so why exactly would i want to use a an indicator that is telling me what has happened over the last 10 days i don't want to know the average price over the next 10 days i want to see based on price action how price has behaved at certain regions and based on that information i want to use that to trade now we're leaning towards the price action, which is the best way to trade. And, you know, permit me to introduce you into my own style of trading, which is known as the top-down analysis. Now, this is where I really want you guys to listen to what I have to say. You see, the top-down analysis, now I'm not saying this because, I'm not saying it is the best because, I mean, I use it. I'm saying it's the best because out of everything that I've tried over the years, I have come together to finally understand, oh my, thank you, Lord, for the day I've discovered this in the Forex market. You see... Top-down analysis is basically when you scale down from a monthly, weekly, daily, and come and execute on a four-hour time frame. What this helps you do is very simple. You're able to identify regardless of the market conditions. You see, the problem with most strategies and most indicator-based strategies is you can only trade a particular time, or they'll tell you, so, no, 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 with this one, any chart, you and they tell you, oh, you can only use it for this kind of market. You can't use it, no, no, no. You want a strategy whereby you can trade anything. With the top-down analysis we are able to trade anything once again let me explain to you guys how it works now my strategy is very simple and straightforward what I do is I go on the monthly time frame I look at what is the overall flow of the market doing what direction are we heading in let's give an example at the moment AUD is moving south AUD USD is moving south on a monthly time frame first of all I know I'm only going to be looking for selling opportunities don't forget we don't trade on the monthly time frame only for direction purposes 
monthly time frame is the Google Maps. Once you know what the market is going to do, where it's heading on the monthly time frame, that is the only direction we're going to be interested in trading in. We scale down to a weekly time frame. Once we scale down to a weekly time frame, is where we come to plot our key levels. You see, unlike the indicator based and other strategies, you're only limited to one or two different time frames. Can you see how I'm using all the different time frames to build my case for trading, to build my case for entry as to why I should be trading this? You see how I'm touching, I'm literally an analyst, I'm analyzing. I'm not allowing indicators to tell me what to do. I am looking and interpreting the chart and trying to understand what I should do. Next, monthly direction, weekly key levels. You see, let's give an example now. And the good thing about this is if I do a project projection on the monthly time frame for AUD USD and I predict that the market is going to drop 2,000 pips, 2,000 pips is a lot of pips. I say, okay, AUD US is going to drop 2,000 pips. I run to the weekly time frame and I plot my key levels. Now, the essence of those key levels is to guide. Now, Forex Mastery students, I'm sorry, I'm sharing a bit more information that I should, but hey, let's give them some slack. You know, guys, for those of you who haven't grabbed the Forex Mastery program, grab it. Everything I'm teaching here, I'm talking about here, it is discussed more in detail on the program. If you haven't grabbed it, the link is around here somewhere or in the description. Once again, Forex Mastery students, allow me share some of this juice that you guys have been enjoying, right? Some of this juice that you guys have been enjoying. Now, back to what I was saying. So, by the time I'm done on the monthly, it's telling me it wants to fall 2,000 pips. I come to the weekly to, analyze, to plot my key levels. To learn how to plot your key levels is on the program, but that's by the way. Um, plot your key levels. Now, the essence of these key levels, and guys, these key levels are so accurate. Once the market touches them, touches them it turns around and... Plotting them is so straightforward. I don't need any indicator to plot. All I do is look left. I don't need any indicator, no this, no special tool. All the tools you need to ever be successful in this market are free on your trading view software or whatever thing it is you use. It is free. You don't need to buy any proprietary indicator. None of that. Simple tools. And I know when I'm saying simple, people are like, the problem is people are like, if it's not complicated, they don't believe that it, it can work. Guys, it is the simple things in this game that actually work. Digest it once again. The more cluttered your chart is, the more money you're going to lose. More indicators don't always equal better trading opportunities. It does not work that way. People will tune off at this, of the video at this point, but I don't care. For those of you who have remained, I'm dragging this, I'm shaking this table today. More indicators don't equal profit. No, those guys get it wrong, right? Monthly overall flow, overall flow, weekly key levels. Once we're done with the weekly, we then scale to the daily. Now, on the daily, give an example AUD USD. Let's say AUD USD is heading south on a monthly time frame. We use the weekly to plot the key levels because we want to know that within that 2000 pip drop, the market will still respect certain zones and that, those zones will be where we'll most likely take our profit or do stuff like that, right? The daily is where we come and look for the most immediate trend within the overall trend. Don't forget, we don't buy or sell on a monthly time frame. It is for pure directional purposes only, yeah? What did I say? Monthly overall flow is coming down weekly key levels daily we will now look for a downtrend the daily and the weekly must have the same trend don't forget it is on the daily and then on the four hour we come to execute we don't trade on the monthly monthly gives us the direction now you probably ask me what if the monthly and the daily are not in sync then trading doesn't take place because there is a conflict you have to understand that the monthly can be trending down and the daily might be trending against the monthly time frame. You see, things like this is what your indicator-based strategy will never tell you. Because you're saying to yourself, I'm looking at a four-hour time frame. The market is coming down and I'm trying to sell, but I still keep getting stopped out. Why? Because it's possible that your four-hour time frame is trending down, but the overall flow of the market might be pointing upwards. The monthly time frame might be heading higher. Do you get what I mean? And because your lower time frame is not in sync with the higher time frame, you tend to run into issues. Once again, guys, 
Everything I'm saying here is in detail, is put together in a very brilliant program called the Forex Mastery Program. I suggest you get it if you want to stand any chance at survival, not just survival, but making a positive change in your trading career and your trading lives because guys, I put blood and sweat into that program. I ensured that I put everything that I've learned from risk management to technical analysis, plotting the levels, the best Fibonacci levels to use, how to plot those key levels, how to identify the high time frame trends. Two, three guys, by the time you're done, you'll be plotting. And guys, once you grab the program, try and trade pairs like AUD, USD, Euro, USD, GBP, USD, Gold, just a little cheat sheet there. You will love it. Because once you can pre predict the, what's going to happen next, simple, just scale down to a four hour time frame or even a one hour time frame. Look for a trade setup that is in line. For example, the AUDUSD is sending coming down. Just go to a one hour time frame. You've seen AUDUSD wants to go down for 2000 pips, right? Just come to a lower time frame, one hour time frame, and look for a nice setup. By the way, on the Forex Mastery program, I also talk about. Um, my entry and exit strategy on lower time frame. So 2000 pip drop come to lower time frame for a little stop loss of about 40 to 50 pips, jump into a sell trade and catch the overall move. This is exactly how you use a 50 pip stop loss to catch a 2000 pip move. And the best part about all of this is once you trade, you just allow the market to work for you. I don't need to stress. I'm not always in front of my screen. And that takes me back to you know other strategies that i've used over the years yes this is pretty much a comparison video and i felt the need to do this because i wanted to you know break everything down for you guys as also people see who people see people who trade the news that's another issue trading the news i used to trade the news as well um the problem about trading the news is that the spread during news releases are so wide that before any of your entry orders get placed you're already minus 10 pips negative what does this mean the brokers increase their spread to 10 pips so let's say you want to quickly catch 50 pips right and the market maybe you're maybe you have a buy and a sell orders placed simultaneously and then the market goes up for a buy before your trade gets filled it doesn't get filled at where you want it to get filled the market will go up and fill you up here and then you're negative 10 pips. And let's say you want to catch 50 pips. And then before you know what's happening, the market drops. Take your sell order. So now the market has taken both trades, buy and sell. And then the market just stays in the middle and it's not going up. And before you know what's happening, frustration sets in. I just wanted to use that quick segment to just demystify news trading as to why it doesn't work. And I will continue to preach about the top-down analysis as to why it is the best until my dear traders are liberated from the shackles of indicator-based strategies, from the shackles of lower time frame trading strategies only. The problem with lower time frame strategies or strategies in quote is the fact that you have to understand that top-down analysis isn't exactly a strategy. It is an approach to professionally analyzing the forex market. It is an approach to how you should see every single financial instrument. You see this approach I just showed you guys today. Once you're done with this video, get the program. The link is going to be around here somewhere. Once you get this, once you get the program and you're done watching this video, go and watch this module five. It talks about top-down analysis. Once you watch it, open any chart, natural gas, coffee, crude oil, you would notice that you can use this approach to analyze any single instrument. Yes. So it was at that point I was like, hmm, with this top-down analysis, I can, I can analyze anything. I can analyze anything. Oh. And I realized that my trade I was getting, I was right nine out of 10 times. Don't forget, I discovered this about three and a half years into my trading and I've been trading for 11 years now. So guys, trust me when I tell you this is the most realistic approach. Your mentors might watch it and they'll just be like, oh, what about this? He's only talking about this because it's his own style of trading. Guys, try it out. You have nothing to lose. I think the program is just 99 bucks. Get it. Try it out. Do some anal analysis. Do something different for once. Stay away from all these indicators, guys. I've been there. You don't want to do that. Trust me, okay? Is there anything I wanted to share with you guys before I have to go? Well, I think I love you guys very much, you know, and I just want to wish every single one of you all the best. Um, uh, for those of you guys who still don't understand, the strategy is very simple. My strategy is very simple. I use 
it's called a multi time frame analysis basically so i use of big time frames to give me the overall flow once again let's do it overall flow higher time frames give me the overall flow and then i monthly for overall flow weekly for my key levels because when the flow let's say we've identified a 2000 pip flow right when the market wants to flow we know that the market doesn't just go it must go come down go like this as it's coming down so we'll use the weekly time frame to map out the key levels that will you know guide the flow right and then we come over to the daily don't forget we can't trade on the monthly and weekly those are for analysis daily is where we now come and look for the immediate trend within the overall trend because it's on trends like daily that we can trade so once we can now zoom into a daily to now see how the market is really moving you know in detail we'll now zoom in zoom in zoom in and then we'll now look for nice pullbacks then we scale to the four hour time frame and then either execute on a four hour time frame with our entry and exit strategy or a one hour time frame and you're done this is simple. Like I, it, analysis take me what four or five minutes to do. It is so simple and straightforward. If you're doubting me, check all my previous videos. Everything is here. Forex mastery students, I'm sorry that I shared too much information on this video, but I just had to. I had to do it. You know, I woke up today and I was just saying, you know, I feel like the need to impact people. And another thing is, guys, once you adopt this strategy, once you adopt this approach, please stick to it. That's another issue a lot of traders have. But the thing is, they are not confident. They are not take it from me i'm confident in the strategy it's worked for me it's worked you can check all my youtube videos i'm right nine out of ten times sometimes i'm right ten out of ten times this is something you can hold on to for dear life this is something that you say yes i finally have a strategy so even when the market is not exactly trending you know yes once this market starts trending i will definitely be able to extract profits because i now finally have what a profitable and consistently profitable forex trading strategy once again my name is dapolis thank you for staying with me till the very end once again if you want to learn more in detail you have to grab the forex mastery program but i hope i've been able to share my strategy is not complex it's very simple very straightforward say goodbye to the seminars say goodbye to the indicators and i'll see you guys on the forex mastery program my name is dapolis once again i love you guys very much don't forget to subscribe because i always share free content on here take it easy and peace out bye guys